Yo, what up YouTube, Rotocut Gaming here bringing you another cryptocurrency related video. And this time I want to talk about the 3080 Ti and what I'm currently mining with it. Spoiler alert, it's Ethereum. Alright, so, so let me show you real quick what I'm working with. So I'm using the T-Rex Miner 0.24.2 version, it's the latest and greatest. It's got this capability of, you know, auto-tuning this these LHR cards to mine as much as possible with it. It goes up and up and down dynamically, and it kind of, you know, utilizes uh, the, the 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 most out of your card, so you can get the most coins, right? So that's what I'm using. I've been roughly mining almost a, a day with it, and uh, as you can see, my daily average is 87.61 mega hash. You know, the What to Mine website puts it at, um, if I put the 3080 Ti um, on, on the screen, you can see that 81 mega hash is really what what they're um, projecting, I guess. So I'm beating it by six or so um, uh, mega hash. Day, uh, so that, that really affects your daily um, uh, profitability. Because if I leave it at 81 mega hash as per the website, uh, I'm only getting 544 uh, in profitability, but if I put, for you know, um, for, for sake of, of this exercise, 87, it, it goes up to 589. So that's an additional, um, let's say, 50 cents just by having the right settings. It's very important to have the right settings when it comes to uh, your mining on, on these cards. So I'm happy with it. I'm not mining Ravencoin. I'm not doing anything other than Ethereum. It's the most profitable one. Um, it shot up recently, so I, can, I guess that's what makes it the most profitable. But I also like that I'm able to keep my temperatures down with it. The room, it doesn't get as, as hot. You know, there's a lot of um, positives out of mining Ethereum. And I'm converting it uh, to Ravencoin. I use mining pool hub to mine Ethereum to that, that pool. And then I get paid in Ravencoin. So that's for you know uh, other reasons. Why am I not keeping Ethereum? Well, it's because I believe, that's my personal belief, is that Ravencoin is probably going to go 5x to 10x next year. I don't know if Ethereum is going to do that. I think Ethereum might do maybe 2x or 3x at the most. So it's just a matter of belief. That's why I'm, I'm doing Ethereum to Ravencoin. But the point is, I'm mining Ethereum with the 3080 Ti. Um, so how do I get to 87-ish? Um, and it, it's actually really simple, but you do have to take into consideration a couple of steps you gotta do. So let me tap into the, my machine that I'm currently mining um, on, on the 3080 Ti with. I'm using TeamViewer to tap into it. I made a video about it. I'm gonna just switch over to full screen to make it seem like I'm in the computer myself, but happening in remotely all right so how do I how do I do uh, how, how did I do that how did I get to you know 85 86 whatever average uh, throughout the day simple I use a, a, a curve um, millivolt and mega uh, and core clock lock so um, I, in order to get to that point if you're following following along and you got the same card it's an EVGA 3080 Ti FTW3 it might work with other brands maybe maybe not but this is this is what I'm working with I left um, power limit at hundred I didn't, I didn't mess with it um, and the memory clock I did put it at plus 1500 uh, fan speed I left it at 90 I just want I, I want it cool I don't want it to be 60 degrees and also the memory junction temperature it's a big concern of mine so I could push it up to a hundred but noise levels you know all that good stuff but if you notice that that core clock has this little thing called curve um, referenced here, how, how how that happens if you if you just up because this is new to me too actually if you operate uh, MSI Afterburner no matter what you do by by using default settings you're never gonna get this little curve and how do you get there? Well, the first thing I did was I clicked on settings, I went to general, unlocked voltage control, voltage monitoring and force constant voltage, I believe it's it's the three settings that I changed. Then, um, in order to tap into this advanced curve uh, locking mechanism, what I did is, you know, I had the window selected and I typed control L. Ah, no, that's, that's later, control F. Um, so what I did is, 
because I'm trying to lock it around 840 mega uh, millivolts. Um, the the original curve was located around here, around this area. So I just I was looking for the the little dot that corresponds to you know 843 840 millivolts so i found this dot so once i found it right here on this on this horizontal axis you see the 843 i i once i had it white i clicked on shift i clicked it with my mouse and then i moved it upward so on the left line on the left hand side i was trying to find the anything below 1700 so I stopped at like, you know, 1695, 97. So I stopped. So now these two white uh, highlighted numbers, 1697 and 843 is, is what I was trying to lock my card to. So once I found it, now you can do control L. That, that's, what, that's what will lock it. That's what will lock it rather. So control L uh, until you see you don't have to press it once or twice, but you just gotta make sure that before you leave the screen that your yellow line and your blue line are, are, are locked in, ready to go, exit, and you apply it, and boom. Once you apply it, you should be able to run uh, at a lower wattage, uh, right? So 275 um, here being recorded, uh, broadcasted by the program, and, and your megahertz are, you know, less than 1700. You could be, you can be, you could experiment. I could experiment and make it bring, make it down to like, I don't know, 1500 or whatever. I haven't had the time. I just wanted to make this a quick video and show you guys that for a day, this is what I'm running with. Sometimes this program will like LHR lock and it'll go up and down accordingly. So that's why I haven't really messed with it. Maybe in the future I will, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is uh, the, the, the the latest strategy that I'm utilizing to mine Ethereum with these LHR cards and um, I hope it was informational for uh, to some of you guys if it wasn't cool I'm still learning maybe I missed some steps maybe there's some more to to this but you know from for my sake from my current experience I'm happy with it I'm hope I'm hopeful that these new updates from T-Rex and you know NB Miner and all and LOL Miner all these great mining programs will be able to crack the LHR Enigma and and hoping that in the future it'll be 75 like right now I'm I'm, I'm mining at LHR 71% of its true potential but hey let's 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 uh, let's hope that in the future we'll have you know 75 80 85 90 that'd be amazing i mean you'll be running at 100 mega hash 105 something like that man that'd be great because these cards are beast and it's a damn shame that they've been crippled i understand why they crippled them you know they're trying to appease to um uh, they're, they're trying to get these uh, video cards in the hands of gamers i understand that i'm a gamer so i'm i'm on the fence right i want a gaming card but i also want to mine uh, whatever I'm not I'm not really gonna dwell on it but um, with that being said appreciate you guys clicking on my video thanks a lot and I'll see you guys on the next one peace